Hi, Sheriff. Hi, Narissa. Have a seat. I, um, are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be, you know, around. Well, let's just say I've been better. <coughs> Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. Thanks. So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me to the open arms. I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, the pudding and pie. I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Go ahead. It... might work. Crane wasn't the murderer. The open arms was a setup. And you sent me there. Was there someone else you wanted me to find there? These lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. Are you trying to say something about Faith and Lily? What I'm saying is friends matter, and I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Are you? Look around you. Are you telling me my friends are involved? <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but... But... But your lips are sealed. I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too, huh? Do you like it? Hmm? Huh? Do you? It's not how it looks that concerns me. It's what it does. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? No 
Okay. I get it. So the ribbons... If you take them off... Sorry, I... Wish I could do something. If anyone finds out I came here... That's probably Snow. Listen, Sharon. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of... trouble. I won't tell anyone, don't worry. Thank you. Sorry, I just need to talk to the Sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. No, wait, you don't have to go. That was... abrupt. Uh, one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She couldn't really say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off, or... It's how Faith and Lily died. Okay then, good work. So, about Beauty and Beast. Do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? And they're... scared about what's been going on? Beauty told me she had to take out a loan from the Crooked Man. Seems like a pretty bad deal. I can only imagine what they're thinking now. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. Who don't I have to trust? Friends. Colin Snow Beauty. I guess Beast. Honestly, the most suspicious out of them at the moment is Snow. But I think that's the point. Maybe I shouldn't have told her. But also Beauty. Maybe it's all a setup. I don't know. You didn't want to tell me what you were into. Which is good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed. Oh. What do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors? Stirring the pot? I'm sorry. Were you expecting someone else? No. That was... Forget it. What do you want, Bigby? Listen, I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I... So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm How still... How am I the bad guy? Eyes. I was looking into a murder case! You long. know that I was! You saw it! <laughs> Who is it? Who's there? If you don't want to talk, can you just get Beauty for me? I don't know. Is it safe to turn my back? You attacked me. You fucking idiot. <laughs> it's your pal, Bigby. Hi, Bigby. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. My god. Hmm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. <laughs> 
tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What's V doing here? We don't need to bring him into this. V. <laughs> we can trust don't talk about living in the past. And then you run and call him again? Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one little thing. Do you want to keep fighting about that? Or do you want to try to sort this out? All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. You didn't have to bring it here. We're out of money and answers. That's why I called. I know what the electric bill we'll is for that thing. Later, but we need to talk to Big B. Fine. If you want to talk, we'll talk. Oh, it's an arm, it's not vast. No, don't walk. I was gonna fall over. I was like, no. Don't upset them. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I wanna know. What are you trying to say, huh? Did you come to give us decorating tips? I thought you were having money problems, but it doesn't look like you're suffering to me. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do, so... We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. Well, what kind of trouble are you in? Either it's the money, or it's something else. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk, and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain... Assurances. We're just looking for a little peace of mind in this. You think you're the only ones in danger? If you have info on that crooked bastard, I need to hear it. Otherwise, I've got better things to do. No, please don't. Then tell me what the fuck is going on. You're in so much debt? Look around you. This isn't the way people short on cash live. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Amazing. <laughs> uh, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? <laughs> Can we finish this conversation first? I right should get now, that. So Come leave on. a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> humanly possible. Oh my god. you get yourselves into the crooked man's gonna get his one way or another play this all i care about is how can i find the crooked man who do i talk to where do i go the lucky pawn that's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah, that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the Crooked Man. 
Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the crooked man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the crooked man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I need it work. Well, what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the crooked man's operation? I couldn't tell you. But I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved with this? Johan the butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She uh, gets under my skin, you know, I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. You're damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. I don't need to understand. It's not my fucking job to understand. My job is to keep Fable Town safe. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Hmm. I'm thinking the lucky pawn. I suspect I will well be going to both, so lucky pawn it is. I'm going to the lucky pawn. There's too much going on there to ignore. I'll have a word or two with Jersey. You know, Bigby, once you show your face there, word is going to get out. There may be nothing left to see if you go to the butcher shop after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? I don't know, do I? You got your- you sell the fucking chandelier! <laughs> you don't need one! A standard lamp will do! 